Hey, it's they. Welcome to my first Q&A. That was an unintentional rhyme. My first question is from Booty Clacosaurus, otherwise known as Shadow. And he says, oh well, what's this? This is a Q&A video, and this is what you get for asking your friends questions to ask you. Awesome. My next question is from Felix TikTok Fox. He says, how did you find the fandom? Or how did it find you? How did it impact those around you? So, I actually found the fandom... Ooh, through the internet a long time ago when I didn't know it was a thing and just like a lot of artwork and then it wasn't until I think about 2015 which is my first Anthrocon that my buddy aka Shadow invited me to and that was the first time we'd gone to a convention we're like yeah maybe so I only stayed about three out of the four days total and completely regretted not staying the whole time I had a fantastic time this is the first convention I've been to out of many conventions of, of different genres different fandoms that I actually enjoyed staying the whole time because it wasn't some giant commercial entity either like welcome to our convention buy our product it was just people having fun how did it impact those around you well it didn't um, which I think is a good thing okay this one's from Eve the pumpkin at thin the fox how did you decide on your fursona um, I ended up getting a little bit too crazy with it and then kind of toned it down in terms of colors, in terms of attributes, in terms of uh, physical appearance until I eventually came up with this thing. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Which leads to my next question from Drakian, who says, why Shark Roo? Um, well, to be honest, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> I originally commissioned they as, I think it was a shark dog or something. And it wasn't until I was at a convention and somebody just called me a shark kangaroo that I thought it was a good fit. I mean, you have floppy ears, I jump a lot, um, it's a shark tail, so yeah, it works. Which also brings me to my next question from Gers. She says, what was your process for coming up with a design? How long did it take? And what inspired you? Etc. Uh, I just thought dragons were cool. That was, that was kind of my, my introduction to what I would later know, probably a decade later, as the furry fandom. And I thought wings were cool, but a little bulky, so I took away wings. And instead, I still like the idea of being able to like fly around, but what about underwater? I thought that was a cool concept, I like water. And then I also got into parkour at the time, so I thought about something that jumps a lot. Um, and it didn't really occur to me that it was a shark and a kangaroo that I was kind of putting together. To be honest, which I'm, I'm pretty happy. It's actually turned out better than I expected. Especially when I got a commission through Twinkie Arts, which did an amazing job. And this one's from Saber Chef. And they ask, what interests you in parkour? Oh, I want to say my sophomore or junior year of high school. That was a long time ago. And I was on the track team. And sure enough, running around in circles wasn't super exciting. So a fellow buddy of mine who was also on the track team was like, hey, have you heard of this newfangled thing called YouTube? There's videos on there, these guys jumping on things, and it's called parkour. And I was like, that's awesome! So we started a club, and that was where it started. This was back in 2007, I think. So I've been doing it for around about 11 years. Um, yeah. And within those 11 years, brings me to the next question from Wolfsting, who says, question number 472, what is the buggest obstacle physically and mentally you've accomplished while doing parlor? Sorry, tired fingers. Physically, you, it's knowing your boundaries. Mentally, it's, it's getting used to being able to push yourself. But a good way to get over that is to work up to it. That's pretty much the basis of parkour and how to do any of these skills is baby steps. So nothing I do is going to be, I'm just going to go outside and do this crazy big jump. No, that's how you get hurt. So my next question is from Jupe. What other hobbies or interests do you have besides parkour? Well, there's a lot of those. And this is why I'm doing videos. Videos kind of combine all of my previous interests of, I used to dabble in electronic music by DJing stuff in Apple Studio. I tried making machinima videos a long time ago when Halo first came out. Snowboarding, artwork. I just wanted to be able to draw really well but not take the time to practice and get there, which is really frustrating. So therefore, I'm doing videos now. So Twister Bernuski says, this may be a cheesy question, but what are some goals and aspirations you've set for yourself? Well, being kind of an overachiever, to be honest, um, I usually set my standards way too high and then fail miserably and get that in myself. So 
As far as the fandom goes, I really don't have any aspirations. I, I think it's more important to look less at the destination of where you're trying to go and more of a direction that you find fulfillment. So for me, it would be going to conventions, making people laugh, making people smile. Anyways, I have one last question. I saved the best for last for my buddy Slinky. He says, uh, how the heck you been? Well, I've been awesome, thank you very much. I hope you've been doing just as well. And also, what is your craziest childhood story or recent? So, me and three other Americans decided to go to Tokyo. We wanted to go to the Tokyo Game Show. And we arrived there on a Friday. Well, we didn't find the Tokyo Game Show until Sunday afternoon. What had happened was, Saturday morning, I woke up, thankfully in my hotel room, and I was laying next to some guy that I didn't even like. I Really, he was just kind of a part of the group. And there was a third guy, our third guy we were with, on the couch with a lampshade on his head, passed out upside down. And then there was a random Japanese guy in the closet. Yeah. And the fourth guy was missing, and we later suspected that he got kidnapped. Turns out he was okay, he was just outside running the streets of Tokyo because he was a marathon runner and decided to run the drunk away. So that was interesting. And that was my first night in Tokyo. So that was all the questions I had for round one of Q&A. Thanks for watching. Bye! Enhance. 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 I can use my paws to operate a camera. It's a miracle. Why is my hand stuck? There we go. Um... What was I supposed to say? My paws stuck again.